Hey, I'm Jen, and today I'm talking about how we can heal our own hurt feelings. coaching and that one of the things I do is help empower people to be able to feel fine, to feel good, to feel better, even in the face of some really hard challenges. And some of the challenges that we can come up against are hurt feelings. Maybe we've given some, some of ourselves to somebody and in return we get judgment and it really hurts. It hurts. And so I'm just going to do a little bit of a boundaries review as to what happens when our feelings get hurt. Um, there are some handoffs that go on. It, result, it, re, it involves giving, it involves receiving. And ultimately, we get to choose what happens there, but let's just understand the mechanics. So there are ways to give our feelings to someone else and kind of expect them to do something with them. Imagine that our thoughts, Feelings and actions are in a package that we get to carry around and hold. Sometimes there's a handoff going on where we say, here, here is my package of thoughts, feelings, and actions, and I would like you to um, fix those up for me. Help me feel valuable, loved, important, help me feel beautiful, and then can you get those back to me so that I can feel those things? Okay, that's kind of a handoff that we do when we're giving responsibility for how we feel to someone else. Sometimes we take someone else's packages. Here, I want to make you happy, and I want you to care, and I want you to hurt sometimes, and sometimes we're like, I want you to feel as angry as I do. That's when we are taking responsibility for someone else's package of thoughts, feelings, and actions. And so in the case of judgment, we've taken the judgment on and, um, and we're fiddling around trying to make them not, not judge us, change them by taking, taking ownership of their package of thoughts, feelings, and actions. Okay, so then we can accept blame. That's another handoff. So someone else may be saying, you made me feel so angry. You made me feel upset. You hurt me. You made me feel insecure, humiliated. And so we try to make them feel better. We say, here, give me your package. Let me see if I can fix that up. It sounds like you're hurt. It sounds like you're angry. It sounds like you're upset. Let me fix that and I'll get that back to you by Monday. Right? <laughs> That's when we're accepting blame. And sometimes we're blaming, saying, you made me feel hurt. You made me feel unimportant. You made me feel invalid. And um, you made me feel invaluable. And in this case, we're talking about you made me feel hurt. This is when we're giving our package to someone else saying, I expect you to fix that up. I expect to feel um, not hurt and get that back to me when you're done. But ultimately, we are totally responsible for our own thoughts, feelings, and actions. And other people are solely responsible for their thoughts, feelings, and actions. Now, we feel super attached to the idea that when someone does something atrocious or horrible, we want them to take responsibility for how we're feeling. We want to be able to blame them and give them ownership of how we're feeling. But really, that's not good for us. It's not good for us at all. The main thing it does is it takes the attention off of the one person who can help you legitimately feel better, and that's you. It's me. It's the, it's the person that owns the package of thoughts, feelings, and actions. Now, does that mean that you put up with, with poor behavior, reckless behavior, with, with feelings? No, no. But this is definitely how you keep your eye on the prize and keep your control right where it belongs. This is your game. This is your package of thoughts, feelings, and actions. If your feelings are hurt, I'd like you to start looking in the direction of how have I hurt my feelings? I, I, why did I give my feelings to someone else and give them responsibility for them? How am I not taking care of my feelings? Okay, when we're hoping to get something from someone else, um, happiness, contentment, fulfillment, or handing them responsibility for something that's totally ours. 
We need to be able to feel fulfilled on our own. And then anything that we get from someone else is just a bonus. So that we're not believing that we have to get something from someone else to feel 100%. All right. So I hope, I hope what you leave with is that you have complete control. You don't have to feel at the mercy and out of control of someone else's actions. You don't have to worry about getting your feelings hurt. Because when you do, you know exactly where you can go to get that figured out. You don't need to wait for them to change. You don't need to convince them to change. Is it okay to have a discussion? Absolutely. Have a discussion about, about feelings, about where you're at. Go ahead and be open. But when it comes down to it, blame is not good for you. It hurts you. So don't do that. And it also gives your power away. Keep your power. Keep your power in your own hands. Go ahead and feel how you want to. If there's someone that you know that is struggling, trying to figure out their hurt feelings, what to do with them, who owns them, feeling really caught up in blame, we share this so that they can realize that they don't have to wait for the other person to apologize or to make them feel better. They can go ahead and do that. And I'm going to have more on this topic, so be sure to follow. It's going to have to do with poop sandwiches. <laughs> That's what's coming. Okay, good luck. Go go heal your feelings. Okay.